Hey guys, that suit filed with the Court of Appeals. Lucido says because those jobs have not been posted, he cannot make some pretty important hires and that's keeping him from making good on a promise to voters. Take a look. I told them that I will do the best job I'm, I can possibly God given me to clean up the prosecutor's office from what has happened in this county. But Macomb County Prosecutor Pete Lacido says he's short mops and buckets, unable to make some much needed hires because the jobs are not being posted. What in essence is the holdup? You'd have to ask HR as well as the executive. I don't know. Lacido says 10 positions are an issue. Six assistant prosecuting attorney slots and four support roles, a part time intern coordinator and file clerk, as well as an executive assistant and communications director. The Board of Commissioners approved the roughly $300,000 to fund those support positions, but County Attorney John Shapka says doing so would shortchange other departments. And according to the Charter and State Constitution, it's unclear if the county is required to spend the money appropriated for those positions. We're talking about a billion dollar budget and we're going to squawk about $300,000. Attorney Todd Perkins is representing Lacido's office in a lawsuit against Macomb County and executive Mark Hackle. We want the court to make a declaratory judgment as to what the law should be, the interpretation of the law, because there seems to be some confusion on behalf of the executive branch as to how the law should be interpreted and that they would have the power to determine when and how Mr. Lucido or the office of the county prosecutor would be able to hire uh, individual. Lucido says he's also being held up from hiring six additional assistant prosecuting attorneys. Shapka says three of those positions have been posted, but it was Lucido who told HR to hold off on posting the others. That's that's wholly inaccurate. Uh, Mr. Lucido wants these positions uh, filled as soon as possible. He wants people in these courtrooms. He wants people to, to talk to, 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 to victims. He wants people to be able to talk to lawyers who are uh, in the process of operating in, in the interest of justice. Macomb County voters elected Lucido in 2020 after Eric Smith, the former prosecutor, resigned amid criminal charges of embezzlement and misconduct in office. All right, now that this suit has been filed, the next step is for the county to formally respond. And it's possible that the Board of Commissioners, which approve funding for those positions, will weigh in as well. But when it's all said and done, County Attorney John Shapka says that whatever the court decides, they will comply with.